Hi everybody, welcome back. This is Bry from Jukeblaster.com and I've just got a little bit of time to kill. Um, so what I decided to do, I decided to hack the CoinKit board. Don't try this at home folks. <laughs> um, so what I did, uh, the little IC there, the little CoinKit chip, if you can see that on the board there. Um, I had a look inside the chip uh, at the code uh, space available and it turns out that after the coin kit software in there there's not a lot of space available but there is little and what I decided to try was I wanted to see if it would be possible to implement new protocols on this board because at the moment what we've got is a simple one pulse in from your coin acceptor uh, and it gives one key press out to your computer um, so that you can uh, take coins. Very simple, very effective, but that's all it does. Uh, it's a simple uh, one shot, one pulse in, one pulse out mode. Now I wondered to myself, would it be possible in that small amount of code space to implement uh, a new mode, a new, a new protocol if you like, um, wouldn't it be fantastic if we could get um, the coin kit board taking, uh, communicating with serial uh, CC talk devices like this coin acceptor? We've got another one here, these great big ones that are really um, cheap and widely available now on eBay and, and so on. So I thought to myself, why not see if we can implement this? And it turns out. Um, that it is possible in a limited fashion. Okay, so here's one I prepared earlier on. Um, this is just a normal standard coin kit board that I've modified. Now these wires coming out, let's put that so that you can see in the camera, these wires coming out are just um, CC torque connectors, um, standard ones that you get can you see that maybe standard connector for these types of coin acceptors so what I've done I've got one rigged up now and let's just plug it in this is the USB from this computer from this computer so I'm just going to plug that in now and you'll notice there, the coin kit is just like a steady flashing at the moment. <clears throat> okay, so I'm trying to position this so that you can see. Um, you can still see that flashing there. Let's plug in one of these serial coin acceptors and see what happens. We're going to need some power. So let's put some power in for the acceptor. And straight away you can see the light has come on steady now. The light is on the acceptor and it should now take coins. So let's try a pound coin in there. Now if you watch the PC there, there sure enough, on a 10p. It's a different key press. Uh, I think it takes a 50 as well. Yeah. Uh, and so on, 20, yeah, I don't know if it takes £2, yeah, it even takes a £2, and a £5. So, although it is a limited fashion, it is now um, communicating serially with this device, and it works just as well. Let's unplug that. You can see now that the, the light is flashing, that indicates that there's no coin acceptor there. Let's plug in one of these huge monstrous coin mechs here. This is the SR5 uh, from Money Controls. Uh, let's just plug that in and watch the LED as we plug that in. Uh, plug that in there. And you can see the lights come on steady and uh, this should now be taking coins. Let's just Try some coins in there and you should be able to see down here. 
there you go that's taking killings now so all in all I think that's a pretty successful uh, demonstration um, that we can actually implement a skinny or a light version of CC top protocol in there so that opens up uh, interesting possibilities uh, for a future release uh, thanks for watching